I've been working on my morning routine a ton. And one of the big things in my morning routine is working on romanticizing my morning. So I wanted to do a whole video on that. And I did actually do a vlog a couple weeks back of a morning with me working my routine. So if you guys want to check that out, that kind of like goes hand in hand with this video. If you see me looking down here, I have some notes so I get everything to you guys properly. And yeah, let's get into it. First of all, some reasons you might want to do this. Romanticizing your life is just so good for your mental health. For me, it improves my mood so much. And it is worth learning to love the little things in life. Gratitude is so positive and to me gratitude is what romanticizing your life is all about and you deserve to feel good so that's a good reason to do this. These are just some ways to enjoy life focusing on your mornings. So we're going to start off with little things, little habits, mindset things and then we're going to get into a couple bigger things that might help and I've also put these kind of especially the little things in order of where you would do them in your routine. Starting off set an alarm that doesn't startle you. You want to pick something that yes wakes you up but also so maybe a song you like or a noise at least you like. I do love the wake up alarms on the iPhone where they kind of start slow and gradually wake you up or there's like sunset clocks but all of that just sort of can boost your mood a bit in the morning. You also don't want to reach for your phone first thing in the morning. Part of romanticizing your life is just focusing on you for a bit. Also take it slow you don't need to rush through your routine and if that does mean adjusting your routine to wake up a little bit earlier to give yourself the breathing room I think it's worth it. Something I've been really into is listening to music while I brush my teeth and get ready. You just really want to set the mood for your day. I think having a soundtrack for your morning is so perfect for that. And also if you're not in the mood for music, because I know sometimes I'm not, I love putting on a podcast to set the tone as well. You can also do positive affirmations where you do your skincare, your makeup, and just in general get ready. Think about some things you love about yourself, say some positive mantras, and just start by filling your morning with positivity. Make yourself a lovely drink in the morning. Trinity Tondelier on her Wellness Cafe podcast always talks about morning moments and how she has a drink in the morning for that, so that's kind of taking inspiration from that but you can do two things one put some time and effort into yourself and make a drink that you know you'll love or two go out of your comfort zone and try something new the next idea is to work on your presentation just because you're not at a coffee shop doesn't mean you don't deserve a chocolate sprinkle on your mocha and some fresh herbs on your eggs you deserve to treat yourself even if you're just at home something i like to do is to look out the window while i eat my breakfast knock on my phone sometimes i'll read but i do always feel good when i just stare out at nature and stare out at my view this is a great way to just be mindful for a moment and sit with your own thoughts and like I said I do also enjoy reading in the morning so read instead of going on your phone obviously I'm biased about reading I love reading but not only is it productive it is so fun and books are so much better than doom scrolling the last thing for the small things category is gratitude like I said romanticizing your life is all about this so take a minute in your routine to think about what you're thankful for in your life what went well yesterday what do you have exciting planned today is the sun shining is your bed comfortable did you have nice food in your fridge for breakfast? Did you have a nice glass of water and you're just enjoying the day? All of these little things are things you should be so grateful for right now. Okay, let's get into some bigger things you can do. They're not crazy big, but they might just be a little bit more daunting or intimidating if you're starting from scratch. So the first thing is to create your dream morning routine. What does your future self that is living your dream life do in the mornings? Write it down, make a plan and start working towards it or even better just start doing it all. This way you're literally doing the morning routine of your dreams. Clean your space and I need to hear this too. This is so daunting but we all need to hear it. You will thank yourself having a clean space just helps your mind be clear and makes you happy and makes you positive because there's no clutter all around you and I'm sure your dream life includes a clean space. Upgrade your loungewear. Whether it's matching PJs, cute loungewear sets or slightly upgraded joggers. All of this just helps you romanticize your life a little bit more and feel like you're living in like an aesthetic TikTok morning routine video. This doesn't have to be hard. I still sleep in just a big t-shirt. However, I used to have like old brightly colored t-shirts that I didn't really like. However, now I have like neutral big t-shirts or I do love a t-shirt from like somewhere you've been traveling which is like associated with good memories. So if you're gonna sleep in a big t-shirt, you don't have to change everything, but maybe wear one that at least suits like your aesthetic color palette to help romanticize your life a bit more. Because I know personally, I love some cute loungewear sets and cute PJ sets, but they're not the most comfy to sleep in. So you can adjust this to your life. And my last tip is to make a vision board. What does your dream life look like? Visualize it and put it on paper or on your phone, wherever it works best for you, but put it somewhere that you can see 
idea in the morning to help visualize your dream life as soon as you wake up. I do have an old video on how to make a vision board and I'm coming out with a new one soon so do keep an eye out but this is such a great thing for manifestation and just romanticizing your life in general. Okay thank you so much for watching I really hope you got something out of this video and I hope you guys all have some very good mornings coming up. If you did like this video please do like and please do subscribe because I'd love to see more of you guys. Let me know one thing that you're doing in your morning routines at the minute. Thank you.